pause or in transition from back to front. Is he lying? When do Arsenal do that? Arsenal are camped on the edge of a penalty box 95%. You might not like him. Is he lying? Where's he getting the space to run one on one at a defender? This guy would not do it at Arsenal. I'm sorry, he won. Yeah, decent player, by the way. Every time I've seen this guy, he looks amazing. But he wouldn't suit Arsenal's play. He would suit somebody like fucking Liverpool. Is he lying? Welcome and welcome to the press. And before we discuss the man on your screen there, Victor Jokeres, do me that kind of favor. Like the video, very important, very, very important. Subscribe if you're new here and do not forget to turn on your notification bell one more time. Like the video, number one, first step. Second, subscribe if you're new here and do not forget to turn on your notification bell. Arsenal fans have been like, go sign your careers. He will come to the league and score a lot of goals. He's a pure goal scorer. He's a goal scorer. I'm not going to debate that. But the problem is that does he fit the way we play? We are a possession based team 90% of the time. I'm not saying doing some phases, we can't transition quickly. But 90% of the time, we are a possession-based team. Even when we play the likes of Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea, Man United, we are still heavily a possession-based team. And Joker flourishes in a tradition-based in a, tradition team, a counter-attacking team. So bringing him that he will succeed in how we play, I don't say it. I've been shouting this for the longest time. I'm not saying I should get a striker. But it has to be the, pride, the right profile for the team. For the outlay, Sporting Lisbon are demanding, and the wages he will be demanding, you want to make sure you don't sign a player that doesn't fit, and it will be very, very difficult to sell him. We can't afford to make colossal mistakes. Now, at least, I don't agree with Ligona most of the time. It's not my cup of tea. But I understand he makes content for market share. I understand it's about the money. If you think Ligona is not an intelligent person, you must be out of your mind. I do not agree with 95% of what he says because it's based on the market share, which I understand what he's trying to do. But on this one, Ligona is absolutely right. One more time, guys. Like the video before I play this video. Subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell. And fair use, fair use. Let's listen to what Ligona has to say regarding Victor Jokeres. 95% of the goals. 95% of the goals that Victor Jokeris scores are in transition from back to front. Is he lying? When do Arsenal do that? Arsenal are camped on the edge of a penalty box 95%. You might not like him. Is he game. lying? Where's he getting the space to run one-on-one -on -one at a defender? This guy would not do it at Arsenal. I'm sorry, he won. Yeah, decent player, by the way. Every time I've seen this guy, he looks amazing. But he wouldn't suit Arsenal's play. He would suit somebody like fucking Liverpool. Is he lying? Well, I've, I've been repeating myself for a long time. Or Chelsea or Tottenham. He wouldn't... Let me, let me, let me take it out. That, that's just a fact. He will not fit on how we play football. He will... Liverpool are even trying to change from being a transitional team to more a possession a base team, but he will still flourish there. Perhaps they will play more transitional, they'll half and half kind of thing. But he will not just fit in how we play. Nobody is saying... Joker S is not a good striker. See, listen to understand. Take your emotions out of it. I'm not saying Joker S is not a good striker because people say if he goes to Liverpool and flourishes, that means we shall sign him. No, the way Liverpool plays the game is different from the way Asa plays the game. The way Manu plays the game is different from the way Asa plays the game. See, Bruno Fernandes is a 10 for Manu. He won't fit the way we play our 10 as Odegaard at Arsenal. You can see it's different. Right? See, like you mentioned, he won't even fit Manchester City because they're a possession-based team. Jokeres thrives on transition, on counter-attack, switch the play, and let it quickly. Now, and one thing that I'm missing too is that it's easy to flourish. Let me put it easier in context to flourish in the Portuguese league. See, Jokeres is not played against low blocks every weekend. Mm -mm. Nobody's playing low blocks again everywhere. If he comes to Aston Man City, he's going to face a lot of low blocks. How do you think he's going to negotiate that? Jokeres is quick, but he's not quicker than most of the defenders in English Premier League. He's not more robust physically than most of, most of the defenders in Premier League. So he's going to struggle. We saw Darwin Nunes light it up in Portugal, but he can't do the same lightning up in the Premiership. 
We saw Gonzalo Ramos light it up in Portugal, but we couldn't do the same thing in, in, in French League. What am I saying? Is we have to look at a player in totality. Just because he's lighting it up in a particular league doesn't mean he will do that in a superior league. Objectively, the English Premiership is superior to the Portuguese league. We all there, there's no argument, right? See, let me give you an example. Sports fans will remember Soldado was lighting it up in Spain, struggled in England. Massive fans remember Negredo was doing well in, in, in Spain, struggled in England. What am I saying? Just because a player is coin freely in a league where you don't have to face low blocks all the time, in a league where the top teams are not facing low blocks all the time, it's easy to score. Someone say, what about the Champions League? The Champions League is not as competitive as the Premier League. It is what it is. He might be superior in terms of title, but in terms of competitiveness, the, the Premier League is superior, in my personal opinion. The Champions League, it is what it is. So I am not saying he's not a good player. Will he fit the way we play? Now, if we're a transitional team, a counter-attacking team, I will understand signing Victor Jokeres. Let me give one more example. Pepe did not flourish at Arsenal in relative sense. Why? Because Pepe will thrive and was always strive. Before we sign Pepe, Pepe thrived in a Leo, in a Leo's team who were actually heavy on counter-attack, transitional team. Again, you have to understand certain styles for certain players. You can't just go and buy a player that suits counter attack or transition and put him in a position based team it will not work and you get frustrated and hate the player there are different players there are only a few select players that can actually flourish in both transition teams and possession based teams and i'm sorry your career doesn't seem to be that type of player in my personal opinion and i'm, 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 I'm sure that's why the clubs are reluctant to push the 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 the, the check on your because i'm sure they are looking at can they flourish in a Possession based team? The answer I'm, I'm, from what, they are, what we can see is no. And we're not saying Jokeres is not a good striker, but apply the right context to this conversation. That's just it. I have never been against Jokeres as a good player. I'm just saying I'm not for Arsenal buying him because he will not fit how we play. We are a possession based team. So, guys, let me know what you think. Comment section. I, I, is, that, is that explanation good enough? If, if you still push back, Push back logically in the comment section. Tell me why you think Jokeres will fit in a position-based team, even though there is no evidence that Jokeres will fit in a position-based at the moment. Mm -hmm. There's no evidence in my personal opinion, especially when it comes to the league. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like the video on your way out. Very, very important. Subscribe if you're new here. And make sure you turn on your notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>